I'll call Layla Moran from Battersea and Tooting. Hello, conference. What's one of the first things that children learn to say to their parents? That's not fair. From a young age, we recognize injustice, albeit possibly selfishly. But the point I'm trying to make is that inequality, real or perceived, is something so fundamental, so tied up in our humanity that it makes sense in our hearts that we really should tackle it in all of its forms. So it's with my heart that I love what this motion says, but it's with my head that I love how it says it should be done. And I speak passionately for lines 25 to 35, which talk about the capabilities index, shared parental leave over 18 months, and the nursery premium, all things which are natural scaffolds to the pupil premium, which we're already delivering. The capabilities index is the first time that a government will properly recognise that simple measures of income inequality, like Gini coefficients, simply don't work. I encountered this problem when I was doing my Masters in Comparative Education, and I was looking at educational inequality. I had to build up data set over data set over data set to make it work. This Capabilities Index will be a welcome addition in the fight against inequality and in research. Now, I'm also a science teacher, so you can imagine I like children's policy, but I get positively fruit loopy about any policy that's evidence-based. The 18 months of shared leave is an investment in children at a crucial age, and it will pay huge dividends in social and educational futures. And here's the very basic science bit. The fact is mammalian brains grow synapses in spurts, and they grow the very best at a young age when they're interacting with interesting people in interesting environments. We've actually tested this in rats. Rats who were licked more by their mums when they were young did better in cognitive tests when they were older. Now, I'm not saying all humans are rats. Any, well, anyway. Um, but the point is that the longer the child is able to have a constant loving attention, the better they will do. We know this in ourselves, but the research also backs us up. This will work. The nursery premium is then a targeted extension. Some educational studies suggest that children from socioeconomically deprived homes start to fall behind as early as three or even four years old. And there are various reasons for this, but the most interesting that I came across when I was re researching was this. In middle-class homes, a parent tends to utter three times as many words in a minute than from those with more uh, socioeconomically deprived homes. By the time a child is four, it's one classic study estimates they'd have heard 32 million fewer words than their middle class counterpart. So it's no wonder that we see a difference in reading abilities by year one. The nursery premium will help this by helping disadvantaged families with parenting and by giving them advice to follow best parenting practice we will encourage them to do what many of the middle-class counterparts do already. And in many cases, it's simply because, as has already been mentioned, they simply don't have the time, they're single parents, they work several jobs, or perhaps they didn't have it themselves when they were younger and don't know the importance. So, conference, this motion and these poli policies, in my view, are classic Lib Dem stuff, the logical conclusion of where the heart meets research I urge you, please support this motion. Thank you.